already we see we jump up to about uh, 600 milliwatts, 614, 615, somewhere around there. Uh, that's about as good as it ever does. Yep, that's right, folks. I messed up. I'm definitely uh, one to admit when I'm wrong, but um, thanks for coming in. Welcome. Uh, we're talking about this again uh, and the mistake I made. Uh, the mistake I made comes down to this guy, the Immersion RC Power Meter. When I did my thermal testing of this radio versus the power output, uh, the most I ever saw was 600 milliwatts out of it, and I thought that was really weird. Um, should have been one watt was what I could have gotten out of it at the most, but just not happening. A few people in the comments said, hey, you should really be running an attenuator. I'm like, oh yeah, I know, I should be running an attenuator according to Immersion RC. Anything over 500 milliwatts, you want to have an attenuator, never go over one watt. I figured that was like a safety limitation, like you'll ruin the, the power meter if you don't. Well, that may be true, but it seems to be that this thing won't register over roughly about 600 milliwatts of output power uh, without an attenuator. So I was hitting that like 600 milliwatt wall on this thing. So took the advice of uh, some people on, on my comment section. Thank you for the suggestions. Uh, went out and purchased a 10 decibel uh, attenuator for the Immersion RC power meter. If, uh, if you have one of these uh, power meters and you want an attenuator, which, spoiler alert, I suggest you get one, I'll put a link to it in the video description below. So let's go back to the bench, hook this thing up, crank her up to 11. To top to a you know, what we use on stage, but it's very, very special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to 11. And see what happens if it's any different. Okay, so just like before, we're using the Immersion RC RF power meter. Um, we do have now the 10 decibel attenuator on here. We do need to set it up for that attenuator, so go ahead and click the button, go to 8TTN, and uh, just adjust it to whatever your attenuator is. This one's a 10 dB, so I make it 10 dB. So that should compensate for the attenuation of the signal, and this will uh, basically make the adjustments accordingly. All right, let's go ahead and fire her up. All right, as we can see, right here, 25 milliwatts, we are getting, there we go, that might work better. We're getting 25 milliwatts of output power. Let's turn it up to 50. Um, 77, I assume once it warms up, it's gonna drop down just a little bit. This is ambient temperature and it is fairly cold in my basement here. 100 milliwatts, we're at 130. 250, we're looking at 400. Again, once this heat soaks, it'll probably come down. Go to half a watt, get uh, 770 milliwatts. And let's turn her up to full power. We're looking at 1.11 watts. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I messed up. Apparently, there is a limitation of the power meter when you don't have the attenuator on there in these high power uh, output devices. So, yep, it is giving you the whole one watt. Uh, just for shits and grins, let's go ahead and throw dynamic power on. Where do you think it's going to go down to? You guessed it. Boom. 25 milliwatt power. So let's go ahead and make that one watt again and uh, we'll give it a few minutes and see what we end up with as it gets warm because this, I mean, it's still gonna get hotter than uh, hotter than the concrete outside. Still gonna get hotter than, I don't know. It's still gonna get hot. Let's see what happens. All right, it's been a few minutes. Um, one watt, we're down to about 800 milliwatts. 500 milliwatts, about 570. 250, looking at about 240. 100, 84, 50, 50. And 25, we're getting about 16, a little on the low side. 
All right, well, there you have it. I messed up. All right, guys, so obviously I messed up a little bit, um, just not understanding the capabilities of the version RC power meter. Uh, this will do one watt and it does put out one watt. Um, if you didn't buy this radio just because of that in one of my videos, I'm sorry. Uh, there's lots of other things about this radio <laughs> where I would suggest that you just don't buy this piece of shit. Um, it is not a good radio, don't buy it. Nobody should buy this radio. If you have it, I'm sorry. Enjoy it for what it is, uh, but the power output is a-okay. All right, sorry. What can I say? We learn something every day. I learn something. Hopefully you guys learn something. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe if you would uh, do so kindly. Click those links in the video description and help me out. And uh, if you guys ever have any suggestions or advice, or if you notice I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Um, I'm human, I make mistakes. All right, guys, we'll see you next time and stay positive.